the students have germinated uh, particular seeds that were designed in upon its in a cross, um, and their job is to predict the outcome of that cross uh, based on what we know about simple rules in genetics. And then today, we're analyzing the data. We're going to apply a statistical technique called a chi-square analysis uh, to see if what we expected to happen is close enough to what actually happened. to our question of the day in just a moment. I do want to mention something amazing, but not amazing, that happened over the weekend in this room. So one of our light bulbs went out, um, for no reason, just because it was going to be that kind of week. And as a result, if I know that I don't think any of the dishes are the ones over there, we're just going to call them again. Um, but if you take a look at those dishes over there, you will see a very uh, well-known thing that happens to plants and light. Uh, in that all the seedlings are bending toward the light um, because there wasn't any light available. So the seedlings that were directly over the burnt out bulb um, were starting to grow in the direction of the bulb that was still working. Square does. So we spend all this time learning how to do planet squares where we're telling individuals, oh yes, this should be the outcome. But this is going to actually determine if the outcome was, was accurate or if it had too many errors. Photo meaning light and taxis means movement. So in this case, it's movement toward light. Some organisms um, are negative phototaxis where they try to get away from light. Things that are like, um, you know, worms and bugs that live under rocks, um, but this in this case would be movement toward the light. It's actually controlled by hormones in the plant, so you're going to know all about the later. So when you get a chance today, you should too. It's kind of neat. And in fact, all the dishes are kind of growing toward the light. I, don't, I hope it's no one in this class, but not that I hope it's someone in the next class, but there were a couple of plates that didn't germinate too well, so we'll have to try to figure out why that might be. Uh, it could have just been a bum, you know, bum seeds, you never know. All right, today the goal is to uh, look at our data. We're going to look at F1 generations first, and we're going to see if what we, uh, what the outcomes are going to be, and then you're going to determine the which traits are dominant, which traits are recessive. Uh, I don't want you to look at your F2 plates yet uh, until everyone kind of takes a look at F1, because it'll be a little overwhelming, plus it'll spoil the end um, if you look at the final results. So we'll look at those first. Um, we're going to talk about dominance and recessiveness, and then we're going to look at our F2 plates. So that's what we're going to use this, the chi-square for, to co compare our expected and our observed ratio. And see if Punnett squares actually do their job of predicting outcomes. All right, any questions on the square? It's not really a square. Today, I want you to get your F1 plate only. Okay, so you can tear off the little water wick and bring it back. I want you to set up a microscope. I want you to take a look so that you can confirm your date. Oh, F1 or F2? Just F1 for now. Okay, so we're going to look at the They are they were very tiny. So just F1. What you're going to talk about at your table is can you determine what is dominant and what is recessive based on this data? Take a look at number one in the lab that we completed together, and we looked at all the possible outcomes. So now you're looking to see if one of those outcomes is being displayed in your data. <laughs> Yeah, that's 
actually a really good statement because if, if everyone is competing for life, generally, if you're taller, you would have a greater advantage. It depends on the environment that grows. So if you're a tropical plant, that's a big deal. But if you're just like, like a farming plant or a plant genetically engineered by humans, we kind of, in terms of evolution, we would say it's that much more beneficial. So these were, so these these are all because they're, they're small, but they're, it's also only three days in. That's a good point. So, do we really know? Or are they going to stay like this? Or well, check out some of the other groups. See if they, because a couple of them got interestingly tall. I don't see that And then see if your predicted outcome comes the same way. If you're not happy with what your plate looks like, check out another table. Because some of them have great differences. I think some of the light bulbs were just more effective than others. They, they did have slightly different wavelengths, so it's possible.